dark grey skies loom large over the Ganga Brahmaputra Meghna Delta, the largest river system in the world. Covering more than 100,000 square kilometers, it is one of the most fertile and productive regions and supports approximately 10% of the global population. Across the world, over 500 million people live in deltas, equivalent to the entire population of Northern America. The coastal fringe of these lowlands is the most densely populated area of Bangladesh. People rely on the fertile floodplains for their livelihoods and most work in rice or shrimp farming or fishing. Yet their surroundings, including the Sundarbans mangrove forest, also provide many other valuable services. The benefits people get from their natural surroundings are called ecosystem services. Yet despite living in an area rich in these ecosystem services, often the delta is characterized by extreme poverty and this low-lying region is facing multiple threats. Climate change is leading to increasingly intense storms, unpredictable changes to the vital monsoon and sea level rise. At the same time, changes to agriculture, water and land management in Bangladesh and neighboring countries can contribute to the growing problems of flooding, land loss and the intrusion of salt water. To protect and improve the lives of people dependent on ecosystem services in the Delta region, decision makers need to gain a better understanding of the complex relationship between people and the environment. Presently, we prepare or uh, formulate our policies based on our experience only and with, through discussions with our colleagues, I mean government officials, but we need some uh, concrete uh, uh, suggestions based on research and, uh, and modeling. The Ecosystem Services for Poverty Alleviation, or ESPA research program, is delivering evidence and tools which will create a more sustainable link between the environment and people in the world's poorest countries. One of ESPA's projects in Bangladesh is the ESPA Deltas project, a multinational team of political analysts, social and natural scientists and engineers. They have built a modeling tool which simulates the complex social and environmental relationships that exist within the Delta. It is aimed at helping decision makers evaluate the effect of environmental decisions on people's livelihood and well-being. I think predicting future or devising future scenarios is very critical for the planning process and uh, if we can predict the water river flow from the upstream uh, which has huge impact on salinity uh, is very important for, for agriculture and fisheries in the southern district which impacts the poverty too. ESPA Delta's research is designed to explore what the future might hold and provide better evidence so that decisions can be made which benefit the poor. Along with their international partners, local researchers in Bangladesh prioritize collecting data on the natural resources which are really important to the poor. This ISPA Delta study is oil designed, oil planned, integrated and much more science and people oriented. Collection of the information of the area and the people is not new by the team, but uh, as I mentioned, this is now presented better way, analyzed better way, interpreted better way. In Bangladesh's Khulna region, the conflict between shrimp and rice farming highlights the change in ecosystem services. Over the last decade, the area has seen a rapid increase in shrimp farming. The decreased flow of fresh water, water logging and the intrusion of salt water is ideal for shrimp farming, but leaves the area incompatible for rice farming. 
the move towards shrimp for the local population tends to cause a reduction in employment. The development of shrimp ponds or ghaves is expensive and is more difficult for small or medium sized farmers to carry out. This has forced many who have lost their land to live on the fringes, often illegally. Well, if we think about the shrimp versus rice option, we can look at the, um, pr the productivity that will come out of the areas, uh, the monetary values, but we can also look at the employment, and we can look at the effects on the poor, so we can actually simulate two worlds and let people then make their choices about which one of those they'd like to they'd like to see and we're explicitly considering the poor on the edge of the sundarbans asia's largest mangrove forest conflicts are magnified people here are exposed to hazards such as cyclones tidal surges water salinity and rising sea levels cyclones such as cyclone isla in 2009 have had negative impacts on agriculture. The ESPA approach is unique. By examining the problems in terms of the bigger picture, it could help to both tackle poverty and protect the environment. These research integrate everything. I mean the physical system, the biological system, and also the social system, and also the political system. That's why the, these integrated research uh, uh, will give a, a very comprehensive and exhaustive kind of policy suggestion, I understand, and that will be very helpful, uh, not only for the coastal zone of Bangladesh, also maybe for other, the whole country as a whole. The ESPA Deltas project in Bangladesh is developing a method that in principle could be applied to the other deltas of the world, the Mekong or the Nile for example, because the problems are very similar and although the details are different, so you couldn't just take what we've done in Bangladesh and apply it there, the, the method we've applied and the approach is very transferable.